Hello, family, and welcome to Words of Wisdom with D, where we hope that you get wisdom, knowledge, and understanding with God and also in His Word. And today, I'll be coming from Psalm 37 and 5, where it tells us to commit your ways to the Lord. Trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. And now this morning, I wanted to talk about commit your ways to the Lord. Committing your ways to the Lord. Committing your ways to the Lord. When we commit our ways to the Lord, that means that we're saying to God, not my way, Lord, but your way. Not my will, Lord, but your will be done. So when we're committing our ways to the Lord, are we bringing our thoughts? Are we bringing our our ideals? Are we bringing our ventures and our endeavors to the Lord, asking him, Lord, is this what we shall do? Is this what I shall do? What shall I do, Lord? Help me to... to, um, come up with an idea. Help me to come up with a a solution. Help me, Lord. Are we asking the Lord to direct our path, to tell us where to go, how to go, when to go, why to go? Are we asking God these questions when we are thinking of ways to do things? And that's what this passage is basically telling us. It's to commit our ways to the Lord. Go to him and ask him. Ask him. Ask him. And then wait for him to answer you or to give you an idea and stuff. And you know, when we think about God giving us answers and stuff, trust me, it's not always audible. My thing is when I ask God for something... I usually hear it in a song or something or in a message or or something. It comes to me like in in that kind of way and stuff. And I'm like, okay, okay, God, that's that's what you're telling me. That's exactly what you're telling me. And usually I hear it through and it's just to be honest with you, it's like is is a confirmation of what I've already known that I'm supposed to be doing and stuff and everything. And I just, you know, once again, I love the way God just moves and does stuff and everything because we think stuff happens by accident or coincidence, but it doesn't. It doesn't. When you commit your ways to the Lord, you know things will start happening to you and you just like, wow, okay, all right. And you start seeing the bigger picture of what it's supposed to be. But once again, that's when you have to commit your ways to the Lord. And then it tells us to trust also in Him. So when we're committing our ways to the Lord, we have to know and believe and trust. Have that faith that God's going to do it. Have that faith that God's going to give you the answer that you need. Have that faith that God is just... He's. He's just going to do what he says he's going to do, you know. But once again, we have to, we have to commit our ways to the Lord. And it says too, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring it to pass. So I'm going to just give you all this example of um, one of the things that I'm, I'm trusting and believing in God. Because like I said, he's dealing with me in trust. And I'm hoping that while he's dealing with me and trust that it's building my faith up in him and the more but it's going to help you to build your faith up in him and the more as well trusting him more you know trusting him even the more so um you know i have a son that's in college and you know before he even graduated it was told to me that you know i'm not gonna have to um worry about his tuition and stuff Okay, so now when we think of that, we think like, okay, his tuition is all paid up and blah, blah, blah. But like I said, once again, my thoughts is not God's thoughts, okay? So the first two semesters, you know, his tuition was paid up. No worries, no nothing. Like, okay, God, you got this, you got this. Okay, so now we're down to the third semester. That's this um, semester. I mean, not the third semester, but the third semester. his junior year okay and stuff so his third year in college 
And um, I'm like, okay, God, I don't see the money right now. <laughs> Before I was seeing the money, but now I'm like, I don't see the money for the tuition. God, help me. What are we going to do? And I just started thinking on this thing. So what I did was I said, brought back God's word, okay? I said, God, you said that I'm not going to have to worry about his tuition. So you're going to have to show me, tell me what I need to do to get this tuition. All right, that's me committing my ways to God. So he gave me directions and stuff. And he told me to get the money out of my retirement. Okay, so wait, 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 wait a minute, Lord, now. This is my retirement money. I'm I'm saving this up for when I retire. So when I get out, I'm going to have me some money so I can go travel, so I could do what I want to do and stuff like that. That's what this money's for, <laughs> for when I retire. And God was just all like, no, take it off for his tuition. So I'm like, this is me going back and forth with God, you know, because this is what we do. And so he was like, no, take it off for his tuition. I said, well, I'm going to get penalty fees. You know, all them fees they charge you for withdrawing your um your money out early for retirement. I said, I'm going to get all these fees and I got to pay these taxes. And blah, blah, blah. he was all like, go online and look up tuition and retirement and see what, what it says. So I looked it up and it says, like, if you have proof that, you know, you took the money out for tuition and stuff. You won't get the um, the ten percent fee or some kind of the fee for taking it out early for early distribution and stuff. So I was like, okay. So I went ahead and I took it out and I said, Lord, I'm trusting you. Okay. So this is me committing my ways. This is me giving my what I thought was my retirement money, giving it to my son for his tuition and stuff and and trusting and believing that god he's gonna replenish my retirement and that's what it is it's committing your ways to the lord trusting him and then watching him bring it to pass so now i'm in the watching i'm in the watching state waiting to see him bring it to pass that when i retire that my i'm gonna have abundance i'm gonna have an overflow i'm gonna have more than enough to retire and that money that i gave for my son for tuition it was just like nothing you know what i mean so that's what it is to commit your ways to the lord trust in him and he shall bring it to pass so we must believe that god whatever anything all of our issues all of our our doubts even our doubts everything just commit it to him just give it to him just Lord, not my way, but your will be done. Lord, just, you know, and trust in and believe in this. By doing this, it will build up your faith in God even the more. It will trust him even the more. Because like I said, he got me doing some more stuff this year that I'm just like, wait a minute. <laughs> you want me to do what? <laughs> but God, I got this and I got that. And he's all like where's your trust in me i'm like okay god i'm gonna trust you and i'm gonna i'm gonna obey and do what you say and stuff so basically that's what it is we just need to commit our ways to the lord commit your ways to the lord commit your ways to the lord just commit your ways and i know it's hard trust me because i've been through it i know it's hard to commit your ways to the lord because you're like okay i got this plan i got this i got that and i'm gonna do this and then god come no <laughs> this is what i want you to do instead and it'd be the total opposite of everything you plan and stuff but we have to like i said just believe just believe just believe that god he's going to do it for us he's going to do it he's going to do it so once again commit your ways to the lord trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass he will bring it to pass and if you do get a chance to go into your Bible and read Psalms 37 and 5, read the verse above. Read Psalms 37 and 4, where it also tells us to delight ourselves in the Lord. 
delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you your heart's desires. That means, I'm telling you, that means having that commitment. That means having that trust. That means letting go of your ways and allowing God ways to be fulfilled in your life. And like I said, it's not a a, a walk in the park journey. It's going to be a journey. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a journey and learning how to let go of your will. But I just hope that each and every one of y'all having a blessed and wonderful day. May God just continue to continue to overflow you with his wisdom, his knowledge, and his understanding in him even the more. And that we'll just really begin to commit our ways to the Lord all our ways because like i said on last week trust in the lord with all our hearts so let's begin with trust in the lord i love y'all on today hope y'all have a blessed and wonderful wonderful rest of your day or whatever and just may god's hands be upon you throughout the rest of the year or so but love y'all be blessed don't forget to subscribe hit your notification number and sh- hit your notification um button and share this with someone love y'all and be blessed mm-hmm.